So this uh, Evansburg Loop Trail, this five mile trail, I've hiked it many times over the years. Never in the winter though. Usually in the springtime where you can see a lot of birds and frogs and turtles and things like that. But essentially it follows the Skip Pack Creek uh, on a hillside above it on one side then you cross a bridge and follow along the creek on the other side cross another bridge and then come back to where you start and that's the loop <laughs> Once you get past the uh, bridge there, which is really cool looking with them steel uh, trusses, I guess you would call them, or girders, um, you actually walk on a road now for a short period of time that follows along the Skipback Creek. I would have to say that by far one of the best uh, things about living in this part of the country, the mid-Atlantic mid uh, Pennsylvania here, is that we truly have four seasons. And each one lasts just long enough. And before you know it, the next one begins. But we haven't had a measurable snowfall in the Philadelphia area for, I think they said it was like, 600 days so it's really a welcoming and enjoyable experience to be out here in the snow here's the foundation of an old or maybe not that old building because I see block work so it's not all stone but uh, this is always like a point of interest in a trail close to the halfway point I think um, good place to stop and take a break Well, we're now getting to probably my favorite section of this trail, which I call Hemlock Hill, where we're on a steep uh, slope now, sloping down to the creek on a hillside. And there are a few hemlock trees and you're gonna see some, some ferns and a little bit different uh, environment than what we've been previously walking through. Let's check it out.
Looks like we got a cool little rock formation into the uh, hillside here. Check this out. It's a funny thing. I was trying to figure out where to go hiking today and I didn't really want to come here because I've been here so many times before but never really in the winter time in the snow and seeing this place in a different perspective has given me a new appreciation for it and um, I think that's an interesting thing that your perspective on a place depends a lot on the weather the time of the year how you're feeling personally, what kind of experiences you have on the trail, and uh, just having a lovely hike today. All right, well, we're now approaching our second major bridge crossing, the Kratz Road Bridge. So we've been walking upstream this whole time and now from this point we're going to be walking back to the main parking area and there's a number of different ways you can go. You can follow the creek or you can go through some of the open fields uh, above the creek. I'm going to try to do that just to hit some different scenery. Now you can see in this section of the park this was a field that has grown over and is becoming forest again. And you can see the predomination of the red cedar trees. They're one of the first trees to take over in any field, old field area. Beautiful uh, landscape. Now you can see in that last field we were in, we had the red cedar trees and these are spruce trees and these were planted you can see they're a little different they're larger beautiful trees probably one of my favorite trees i love spruce trees they smell really nice beautiful looking tree aesthetically to the eye very pleasing i feel like i'm on a little christmas tree farm right now I don't know about this bridge. I knew I'd see some deer sooner or later. They were down there by the creek having a drink. Well, guys, I think that's about going to do it for today's hike. We did a five-mile loop through Evansburg State Park, 
and we finished up here at the old historic building which all the times I've ever been here has never been open and I'm not really sure what the deal is with that but uh, it was a nice hike it, was, uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day uh, seen a lot of families a lot of people out with their dogs and, uh, just a lovely little hike in the snow and uh, what can I say thanks for coming along on another adventure and uh, until next time I'll see you on the trail. Gator out.